Hello everyone, this is Jim Nix from nomadicpursuits.com and in this video we're going to talk about grunging it up, about how to create a really heavily textured urbex sort of look in your photos. So I've got this photo, it's a three exposure HDR and this was shot at an abandoned prison that's now sort of a tourist area uh, outside of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Uh, it's a wonderful place for grungy, kind of gritty images and HDR is the perfect way to accentuate that look. So let's go ahead and get started. I've got a few tools open here that I'm going to use. I'm going to go ahead and start with the temperature and warm this one up a little bit because it's a little bit cool in the image and I want to bring back some of the warmth that's there. And let's see, I want to add a little contrast. Now one of the things I love to use on images is HDR Enhance. And in this case, I'm going to go all the way to 100 and you can see the difference it had on the photo. It really does bring up those details and really uh, you know, helps accentuate some of the textures in the photo. Now, highlights are a little too bright here, so I'm going to bring those down, and I'm going to lift the shadows just a little bit as well, because I'm going to add some shadow back here in another moment or two. Now, one thing about this scene is I don't want a whole lot of saturation, so I'm going to take that down uh, quite a bit, but I want to bring up the vibrance a little bit. The colors that are there, I want to be kind of vibrant and lively. I just don't want to overdo a whole lot of saturation. And so drag the saturation to the left, but the vibrance to the right. Now, HDR Structure Tool, it has an entirely new algorithm. It works really well. So I'm going to, because I'm going for a grungy look, I'm really going to drag this pretty far. I'm going to go to like, you know, mid-50s or so. And you can see all the detail. Let me show you the before and after. There's the before. There's the after. It's really bringing out the details and the texture and these old gritty tearing, you know, walls that are being torn apart and falling apart. And I think that adds to the uh, sort of mood of the photo. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and take microstructure a little bit to the right as well. Now, it's starting to get a little bit hard on the eyes. And I'm going to sort of go the other way slightly with this next tool. And that is image radiance. I think it does a great job of creating sort of a romantic glow in a photo. And clearly, this is not a romantic scene. But it does bring in some shadow. And so I'm going to do a little bit of that because I don't want to... Uh, totally like hurt your eyes by looking at it and I think adding back some of the shadow helps with that so let me show you the before really gritty really well lit and really grungy and the after still plenty of grunge plenty of grit but a little bit more shadow using the image radiance tool and I think that helps soften sort of the impact it has on the eyes a little bit now the last thing I want to do is go into the vignette tool and do a little bit there I want to actually add a little bit of vignette, which I don't do all the time, but I want to bring that vignette here into this scene. However, I want to use inner brightness because I want to brighten the center. You know, we're really focused on that chair and I want to bring that to your attention. And so adding the vignette, you can see the before and the after really focuses in, sort of puts you in that seat and brings you into the scene. And I think that works well. Now, one thing to think about, this may not be your look. Uh, we are talking about getting grungy and gritty. This may not be your look. And so one way to sort of take back or dial back that impact of the grittiness is the HDR structure tool. Let me turn that off. Still gritty, grungy scene, a lot of shadow, which I think helps create that sort of gritty mood. But I took away a lot of the detail. There it is with the HDR structure. So that's that's an adjustment that I would define as season to taste, right? In this case, I think it works well. You could either reduce it with some of these sliders, or if you don't like it, just remove it completely. You still have a grungy, gritty kind of urbex look, but without as much detail. It's, again, up to you. That's how it works. But that's how I'd edit this photo. But really, grunging it up is about bringing up the contrast, bringing up HDR enhance and st structure and things like that. And then I think the image radiance and the vignette work, at least in this case, to help bring up a little bit more mood and a little bit more shadow. And that's how you grunge it up in Aurora HDR 2018. I hope that it helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.